What is going on YouTube? It's Tuesday and that means it's time for another What's All video. But but first let's, uh, let's get a little ambiance. That's better. Now, I'm going to show you the best and I'll show you the rest and hopefully you can find something that you can be on the lookout for when you're out hitting up those thrift stores and garage sales. Stuff that you can find to sell online for a profit. Let's get into it. So normally in these videos, I start off kind of small and build to my best item of the week. And I'm switching it up this week because I want to show you guys my favorite sale of this week. I just want to start off with it. It's not the most profitable. You definitely want to stick around for that. But it's definitely my favorite because I sold, I sold a boat anchor. Let me show you. This is a Navy Wilcox brand 20 pound boat anchor. And I have no idea what made me look it up when I saw it at a garage sale other than the fact that it said Navy. I figured if it belonged to the Navy, it was probably pretty expensive, might have some value. Looked it up while I was there, saw one that had sold, had some decent value, so I picked it up for 10 bucks, brought it home, did a little more research, listed it on eBay and Facebook Marketplace, and after about six months, it finally sold on Facebook Marketplace for $179 plus shipping. It's awesome. <laughs> That's definitely an awesome flip, my favorite this week. This is a Peruvian Barbie. It's from the Dolls of the World Collector Edition Barbie. I paid $10 for it at a thrift store, which I thought was a little much, but I decided to look it up, and sure enough, it was bringing some decent money and had a really good sell-through rate. Brought it home, listed it, and it sold within 24 hours for $51. Paid ten dollars for this tailor-made aero burner driver at a garage sale, and it's not pretty. It's missing some paint back here, a few minor scratches on top, just a very few minor scratches on the face. Still a lot of life left in this club, so I picked it up for ten bucks, listed it, and I had a ton of lowball offers. Kind of stuck to my guns until at least I got a decent offer. Finally got an offer for seventy-five bucks, and I took it. This is a Odyssey two ball blade, white hot putter. Hey, $10 for this putter from a garage sale and it sold for $87.50 overnight. Be on the lookout for these Odyssey putters. If you ever see one, at least look it up. Some aren't worth as much as others, but this one's pretty good. Pay $10, sold for $87.50. So here's a fun one for you. Seven bars of soap. It's Dial for Men 24 Hour Odor Armor Antibacterial Soap. It's bars of soap, it's seven of them. This was an eight pack. There's only five left in there and this is two that are sealed. Paid, I believe, $5 for them from Salvation Army. I have had them a while, but they sold for $60. That's a pretty good profit on soap. Cool UNC North Carolina Tar Heel golf bag going out, and this is kind of a bonus sale for me. Paid $20 for a set of clubs at a garage sale. The bag was included. Listed the clubs, they sold for like 100, so this is kind of like free money. Listed this guy, and it's not in great condition. All the zippers work, there's no tears or anything, but it's definitely staying throughout. Listed on eBay, and it sold for $75, even in not so great condition. People go crazy over vintage Legos, if you don't already know. This is a set from 1982. My wife actually found a big box full of Legos at a church sale. There was like six different sets in there, so I've got $5 into this. And this is the first one to sell out of those six sets. This is the X1 Patrol Craft. Got the instructions, the box, and everything is complete. All the pieces are there. Kind of surprising from 1982. But this set sold for $55. So this crazy contraption is a back to life continuous motion massager and I will let somebody else explain to you what it does. The amazing back to life focuses on the source of your back pain using a revolutionary new approach. It actually eases your pain naturally while you just lie back and relax. Now you guys may have seen me pick these up before. I paid $9 for this one from Goodwill and these things always sell really quick. It sold for a hundred bucks. The prices seem to have come down a little bit but they're still selling pretty quick.
sold some Sam's Club shoes. Yeah, you can see Sam's Club on the side there. This is actually like some kind of collab, I guess, between Sam's Club and Allbirds. And you definitely want to always be on the lookout for Allbirds. They sell really quick. And these are no different. Even with the Sam's Club logo, these sold in less than a week. And they sold for $59.99. That's pretty good. I believe I paid $8.50 or $12.50 for them. I can't remember. But either way, pretty good quick sale. Be on the lookout for these Sam's Club Allbirds. All right, so bear with me just one minute for story time. My wife and I left the farmer's market the other day. On the way home, we decided to stop at a thrift store just real quick to run inside. Well, I'm actually outside looking at golf clubs and I pull out two putters and I'm making small talk with the guy that works there. Asked him how much for the putters. He told me $3 a piece. But he also mentioned that he had some that had just come in and asked me if I'd like to look at them. Said they were wooden headed golf clubs. I don't normally pay much attention to those because there's not a whole lot that are worth something. But he brought these three over and they were nice and shiny, really good condition. And they have modern graphite shafts, which I thought was kind of unusual. He only wanted $3 a piece for them. I figured for $9, I'd at least get a good education on them. Well, imagine my surprise when I saw these comps on eBay. But even imagine my further surprise when I actually went to this Louisville Golf website. This is the Niblick 7 wood, 4 wood, and then the Louisville Golf Smart F2 Fairway Finder. They were selling these clubs for like $2.99 and $3.99 a piece. So the eBay comps, I thought were kind of low. So I doubled it and tripled them. These things actually sold within a couple of days. These two fairway woods sold for $2.50. And then this smart dry fairway finder sold for $2.06. So my $9 buy that I almost missed, if that guy wouldn't have mentioned them to me, turned into $456. It's crazy. And believe me, I'm grateful. Sold some G.I. Joe stuff. This is the figure Hardball. He's kind of dressed like a baseball player, I guess. I don't know. But he sold for $10 free shipping. And I don't go out of my way looking for stuff that sells for $10 free shipping. Doesn't there's not much profit there. But I had him, I figured I'd list him and make a few bucks. Why not? Sold pretty quick too. And then this is actually the leftovers in the bottom of the G.I. Joe tote. Like it's random arms and legs and there's torsos and there's people that don't have legs. There's some weapons and some backpacks, just random stuff that the leftovers in the bottom of the box. Pulled them out, put them on a table, took pictures, put them up for auction and they sold for $63. That almost covers the whole cost of the buy with just the leftovers. It's the Cobra Hiss Tank, H-I-S-S. -S. It's incomplete, missing, definitely, it's definitely missing the missiles. It's a little dusty, a little dingy, not in great condition and it still sold for $46.50. G.I. Joe, his name is Repeater. He's actually not in really good condition. The O-ring that holds them all together is about gone, but he still sold for $12.50. This is the mobile battle bunker. It actually folds up like that, shows the missiles. It's not in great shape and it is missing a ton of pieces and it still sold for $25. This is the Cobra Hammerhead Attack Vehicle. It's dusty, dirty, missing a ton of pieces. Like it's supposed to have another one of these submarines on this side. It's supposed to have like a missile launcher at the top. It's in a ton of pieces and it still sold for 60 bucks. Sold some more Disney Infinity characters. This is like a Marvel lot, some different Marvel characters like Ant-Man and Black Panther and Captain America. And I definitely could have made a little bit more money if I'd have sold them individually, but I think it would have taken longer as well. Sold this lot all together for $54.50. Skylander going out from my big yard sale haul. Bought a bunch of Skylanders and Infinity characters. Paid $25 for everything. And this guy, Sensei Bad Juju, just sold for $23.50. These Wii Rock Band dongles always sell really quick. I don't have anything in this guy. I found it in the bottom of a box of Wii stuff that I bought. And it sold for $22.88 in a couple of days. This is a set of Wilson Power Source irons. I believe I picked them up in a bag full of clubs that I just wanted to putter out of but I only paid $10 for everything. I think that's right. And if I remember correctly, I almost didn't even list these. I almost donated them because the sell through rate was so bad, but I did list them and they eventually sold for $76. So pretty good. So here's a golf name you need to be on the lookout for, Tad Moore. And that's not a brand, that's actually a person. He's a club designer. He's worked for several different companies and some of his stuff is pretty collectible. Picked up this Maxfly TM-S6 putter from a garage sale for two bucks and it sold for $64.50. Quick tip for you, if you're using these long boxes, I use four by four by 48 to ship golf clubs, baseball bats, etc. Inevitably, you're gonna have to cut them down 
save the cutoffs. These cutoff pieces actually come in really handy. I use them to make little small boxes to ship like Infinity characters and Skylander characters. Here's one I just made to ship that we don't. It's definitely well protected and weighs almost nothing. So yeah, keep up with these things. They actually come in really handy. King Cobra Offset SC7 wood. If you ever see a seven wood, nine wood, any of these higher number fairway woods are probably worth picking up. Higher the number, the more desirable they are and the more valuable they are. Picked this up in a bag of clubs I paid $20 for, sold the irons out of it for $155, sold the nine version of this for like $42, and this one just sold for $40. So be on the lookout for these high lofted fairway wood. Picked up a set of Ping i3 from a garage sale, paid $40 for the set, but it was mismatched. Some of them were oversized, some of them were blades. So I've been selling them individually. This seven iron just sold for $42.50. I'm trying to learn baseball bats. So I picked this one up from a garage sale for five bucks. Saw that it was the Easton in really good condition. It's the S450. Paid $5 for it and it sold for 40. Not a super duper sale, but I'm really trying to learn baseball bats because I know there's some really good money there. I see them all the time. Sold some books. This is a lot of 14 dog diaries books. I picked them up at a garage sale for five bucks. I actually looked them up while I was at the garage sale and comps looked a lot better than what I actually sold them for. But I've had them for three or four months. I've had no interest in them. Finally, somebody sent me an offer for 42.50. And I took it. I've actually sold Gilmore Girls DVDs before, but never in this cool case. This is the complete series of Gilmore Girls DVDs. I paid three dollars for it at a garage sale, and it sold for forty-four fifty. Only took about two weeks to sell, so be on the lookout for these complete seasons of Gilmore Girls. A couple shirts going out. I'll go over them real quick for you. This is a vintage Cooper River Bridge Run T-shirt from 1986. Obviously, it's made in the USA, single stitch. I found that these vintage running shirts sell really well, the ones that represent different road races and 5Ks and marathons. Paid $1.50 for this at Goodwill and it sold for $24.50 on eBay. This is an Adidas training tee and the only reason I know that is because it says it on the tag and that's also the only reason I bought it is because it was new with tags and it said it originally sold for $40. Bucks. Figured for $1.99 from Salvation Army, I couldn't really go wrong. Took a couple of months, but it sold for $28 on eBay. This is a vintage Charleston, South Carolina t-shirt. It's made in the USA, single stitch. It's got Charleston landmarks on it in different designs. Paid $1.50 for it from Goodwill, and it sold for $15 on eBay. Harley shirt going out from uh, West Virginia Hall. Paid like $2.89 for it, and it sold for $22 on eBay. This is a Beretta shooting shirt, and usually these things sell pretty quick, but I've had this one for quite some time. Usually get around $30, $31 for these. Paid $4.75 for it from Goodwill. I've had it so long, I took an offer of 26. So I've found these Diamond Dust t-shirts a couple times before. You can see the tag there, Diamond Dust. And basically it's a t-shirt with a design on it that has a bunch of sparkles in it. They always tend to sell pretty well. Paid $1.50 for this like Native American pattern t-shirt and it sold for $24.95. You guys may remember I sold a Howler Brothers shirt last week for 60 bucks and only took like 24 hours to sell. Well, here's another one. It sold in about three days. Paid $4.75 for it, and it sold for $34. It's not as fancy as the other one, but still a pretty good quick flip. I used to pick up every pair of SAS shoes that I could get my hands on, and they would sell really quick. Didn't matter what model. Well, honestly, I think they've kind of gotten saturated because I've had these so long that I can't even remember how much I paid for them. Probably paid 3 or $4 for them, and they sold for $28. So I'm not telling you not to pick up SAS anymore because there are some that sell really well and they sell for good money, but look them up before you buy them. Did you know that Patagonia makes shoes, or at least they used to? You can see on the inside, they're definitely Patagonia. And even on the bottom, it says Patagonia. I honestly had no clue that Patagonia made shoes until I found these at a thrift store, saw that big bright logo on the inside and was, I don't know, I felt kind of confused. I didn't know they made shoes. But for $3, I figured I'd pick them up. Sure enough, it's legit. They did stop making them pretty recently, but these still sold for $54.50. Row Search Boots, I've talked about them before several times. I always pick them up when I see them. These are not in great condition. They're small size, size seven, and they're missing the laces, and they still sold for $55. I believe I paid $5 for them from a yard sale.